Be the jury in the above entitled cause determine that the penalty shall be death. When a jury found David Westerfield guilty of kidnapping and murdering seven-year-old Daniel Van Dam in 2002, crowds cheered outside the downtown courthouse. There was a, a, an enormous expression of relief and celebration that justice had been done. That was former San Diego District Attorney Paul Finkst speaking to me two years ago. I called him today to get his reaction to the news that David Westerfield has been transferred from death row in San Quentin to the High Desert State Prison in Susanville, California. It's hard to conceive of a crime more egregious than going into someone's house at night while they're sleeping, snatching their child from her bed, taking her, sexually abusing her, killing her, and dumping her body on the side of the road. His crime was egregious beyond discussion, but California does not execute people. Now they don't even house people for execution because they're not even going to pretend that he's going to be executed. Westerfield was transferred on March 12th to the General Population Prison in Northern California as part of the state's condemned inmate transfer program. The condemned inmate transfer program is basically a program that allows the condemned population to be transferred to these other prisons so that they can participate in additional rehabilitative programming and also take advantage of paying back restitution to some of their victims. The Department of Corrections says it's cheaper to house condemned inmates in other prisons because they will not have to be handcuffed and escorted whenever they are walking, as currently required at San Quentin. Westerfield's death sentence remains in place. He is now age 72, and with the death penalty currently suspended in California, his execution seems unlikely. The leading cause of death on death row is natural causes. This is just the way that reality is coming to the prison system. The Department of Corrections says they try to notify victims before a death row inmate is transferred. I reached out to the victim's mother, Brenda Van Dam, but we did not get a response. Back to you in the studio.